All right, let's look at what this box is. What, how do I make a box like this back in my other scene? So there's two things. There's a character spawn point that I'm going to need. And there is going to be this level attributes boundary death zone. Okay. How do I get that back? All right. So the death zone right here is just a simple box collider with a rigid body. And it's not about size. It's about is a trigger. It looks like. And there's a script attached to it. So right now I'm just going to concentrate on two things. The box collider and the rigid body attached to it. I'm going to save out this project and I'm going to go back and open my other project. Again, this is what really, it's really handy to have two computers at this point because that way you don't have to keep switching back. All right, so let's go in here and create a cube. And I'm going to place that cube right here. Grow it out a little bit. Okay, and it's already got a box collider on it. But remember, it only had two attributes. So I'm going to remove this one, and I'm going to remove this one. Put on is a trigger, and I'm also going to put a rigid body out there. And also, I remember it was kinematic, not gravity. All right, so let's hit play. So what's going to happen is I'm going to run into this box. Should anyway. So let's kind of make sure it's in my way. Yes, it's in my path. It's a little taller than my object, so I'm gonna. All right, don't forget also, um, the player here can interact with rigid bodies. Remember, because this, this box over here was a rigid body. There we go. So if it's not a trigger, I can actually hit it. That's telling me it's there. That's all that's telling me. Good. Now, let's save that out. And let's go back to my other project. This is the point where you get so many projects going on that you don't know what you're dealing with. So here we go. Sorry about that. Open this project up. Okay, and then I have my ball. There it is. All right, now what about the actual spawn point? Okay, the spawn point looks like it's just something that has a script on it. So I got a spawn point script, and I also have my level attribute script and death zone script. Okay, one thing at a time, let's work on just making that one asset. Okay, in this case, I have this. Okay, I need a spawn point. So a spawn point is just this. I go in here and I make a cube. And I'm going to put this back here some where the player is not. 
Then I'm going to take it and say, well, I don't need this and I don't need this. It's not about colliders. It's not about anything else. It's just that. And I'm going to name this spawn point. And name this death zone. All right, now do I have everything that is needed? Well, if I look back, I'm going to find one more thing that's kind of needed, and that's under You see I have level attributes and then I have a thing called death zone and this is where my rigid body sits. So what is this? Well, that is what I just made for the actual locator. So let's go back and make one of those. Okay, very quickly. So I got death zone out here, and what I need is another object called just a cube. And I don't think it's really important where this cube is at. I think it's just the fact that it needs to be right where uh, the box is. So um, death zone. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is take it and eliminate everything off of it. Okay, and I'll call it level. Okay, so level has a death zone in it. There we go. And now here's level. If I move level around, it moves my death zone. If I want to see my death zone, I have to highlight this one, just like back in the other example. All right, now that we have everything set up on this end, now we look at scripting.